Dr. Perry has internal medicine. Someone asked in response to my Farxigan Jardians, a very good clinical question. Why do diabetics get, can get diabetic ketoacidosis on Farxigan and Jardians, but non-diabetics do not get um, diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA? It has everything to do with insulin. So in type one diabetes, they don't have enough insulin to stop the, keto, the ketogenic process. And that will lead to ketoacidosis. Insulin is the answer. So if it's if there's a lack of insulin, then it can't put the brakes on the ketosis process and that leads into ketoacidosis. If you're a type two diabetic, DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis is rare, but can occur when there's a, an infection or if that, type, if that person with type two diabetes has significant amount of insulin resistance. So again, it goes back to that insulin. That insulin may be present, but it's not functioning well in that person with type two diabetes because they have significant resistance and that leads to ketoacidosis. There's no break on the ketosis process. And so people who are non-diabetic, in other words, their function of insulin is fine. There's plenty of insulin present when it needs to be present and the function of it works then it puts the brake on the ketosis process from going into ketoacidosis. And that's why people, non-diabetics, do not get DKA and diabetics can get DKA while on a serum glucose transport 2 inhibitor known as Farxiga and Jardians. I hope that helps answer that question. I'll see you at the next video. Tubby Doc out.